Hello guys, what's up? I'm Tofik Rahman. Welcome to my programming channel. You know, I sell Android apps on Code Canyon. Here is my portfolio. You can check it out if you like. And today I'm going to make uh, app customization videos for my new project, Fire Story. It is actually a native Android online history book app with Firebase backend. And here is the technical documentation. And you see, here is the customization section. I hope that you have successfully changed the package name. And today I will discuss about the database creation. And in my next video, I will discuss about the change in the contents. And I will put my those video URLs here. So for now, these sections are empty. And you see, here are the guidelines at first. We need to create a new project in Firebase console. Okay, let's search for Firebase console. Click it, and you see our Firebase console is loading. And after creating a new project, we need to download Google Services.json file and paste it in the app directory of Android Studio. Okay, for now, we need to create a new project. This is our Firebase console. Click here, add project. You know, for each and every app, we need to create a new project. What I'm gonna give my project name like my awesome story. Okay. Uh, you can give the name whatever you want then we need to accept the terms and then click create project you see the project is under creation process let's wait for a while and then click continue and you see this is our project, my awesome story. Get started by adding Firebase to your app. So this is our project and we need to create an app. And this is an Android app, so I'm going to click on Android. And we need to register the app. So at first we need the package name right here. So what is the package name? You see the package name of our uh, project is com.tofig.firestory so here you see after changing the package name you will put your changed package name here so for example for this project we need to copy the package name and paste it here so if you change the package name to like com your domain dot your name then you need to put that package name here okay and then what will be the app name like fire story whatever you want and then we need to put the sha1 key okay Go to Android Studio and click here, Gradle, and then double click on signing report. And you see some tasks are executing. Okay, let's wait. <coughs> let's wait for a while, and you see this is our SHA1 key. Let's copy it. I have marked it then copy and then paste it here paste then register app come on mm, then next okay then next then skip okay let's click this gear button and then project settings 
and you see this is our project my awesome story and we have added an app that is called fire story whatever it is and now you see this is our project we need to download the google service start json file click on it and soon your download will be started okay we need to save file And you see this is our file we have successfully downloaded it copy it go to Android studio and you see when we run the cradle here it is sends the to the signing report click it and select app minimize the window minimize this window okay you see we have copied the google services dot json file we need not this window and you see download google services dot json file and paste it in the app directory of android studio in the app directory okay we have downloaded it copied it and this is the app directory right click it and then paste google services.json okay and we already have a google services.json file so we need to click on override okay so i'm not going to override it because i have already done with the right package and right file so i'm simply going to close it but you need to overwrite it okay okay then it says that we have successfully created a new project we have downloaded and paste the google services.json file in the app directory now we need to import our contents.json file in the real-time database of firebase console okay where is the real-time database of firebase console let's go to firebase here grow cloud messaging no develop here under develop option here is the database click on the database here is the real-time database option so click on create database and select test mode okay click on enable so here is our database by default it's empty you see here are the rules read true write true so let's go to database again so we have seen the database okay dismiss and you see import our contents.json file where is the contents.json file okay after uh, purchasing the app you will get the main files okay under main file you will have the source code you will have the apk and you see here is the contents.json file okay you know i have already copied it in my desktop okay what it says import our contents.json file in the real-time database of firebase console okay import import json i'm gonna browse it 
this is my desktop i'm going to select desktop this is my json file and i'm going to import it and you see here is our database here are the items title then image then details and for today that's it and in my next video i'll show you the other things written here that means the second part so for today that's it thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe